Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 4th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Pisces, let's see what we have going on for you for this week of the 4th. Pisces. Yeah, I would be very careful with your paperwork here. Pisces is what I would say to you. And uh, let's keep going here. All right. Yeah, I would be careful with your paperwork, of course. Yeah, um, I would pay attention to the details as well. Mercury retrograde in our sign. You know, it could it get any better here, Pisces? Probably not. But um, three of diamonds just is a card of problems with paperwork. So it does say that you need to be careful with your paperwork or you need to make sure to just double check everything you do. Eight of pentacles, eight of diamonds, I mean, is just a card of, again, needing to pay attention to the details. So I do feel like details are going to be very important for you this week. It says pay attention to little things. And again, if you're doing paperwork or something, just go back over and check everything, you know, kind of like, um, you know, like over and over and over again here so that you are successful. So um, that's what I'd say to you here, Pisces. I would just make sure you double check everything. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Spades and the Nine of Clubs. So I feel like there could be like a lot of opportunity for you this week, but it would have to do with some sort of change. So um, Ten of Spades is a card called the Ship. It just represents going from one thing to another. So in a lot of ways, it just represents a change. And Nine of Clubs says there is a lot of opportunity for you in change. So this could be like in work, business, love, money, spirituality, anything. So I feel like there needs to be a change. For some of you, I'm getting diet as well. So you might, I would say if you're changing your diet, this looks amazing. The whole the whole reading, really, but definitely this here. And this is a card of standing out. So in a lot of ways, you might need to stand out at this time or you need to stand out um, you know, at this time in work. This is a card of like accepting recognition or needing to be recognized for a job well done or needing to stand out in some way um, so that you can get more attention. You know, in, in the Nine of Clubs, it says like if you accept more attention at work or in business, that there could be like a promotion involved there. There could be more success, pretty much anything with that Nine of Clubs. Next, you have the four wands. This is my card of the retrograde. Four of, I mean, the uh, four of clubs. Four of clubs just says follow all the typical retrograde rules and you will be fine. But it's also a card that says your thoughts are in line with the truth. So I feel like you could be having a lot of good thoughts at this time. Or it's just saying that the things that you are thinking about could lead to, like, a lot of truth and good things. Ten of diamonds is a card of success. So I feel like there could be a lot of success coming in here for you. I keep telling people, it's like, you know, don't worry about the retrograde because, you know, like some of the retrogrades I've been through in my life have been some of the best times financially. So there could be a lot of financial success for you at this time. This could also say it could be that, you know, this is a card of learning secrets. And I feel like that's what it really is for you, Pisces, that you could be learning financial secrets or you could be learning some sort of secret at work that leads to a race or in your business. You could be learning a new skill or tactic or trick in business that leads to a lot more success as well. So I feel like this retrograde would be a really good time for you to focus on learning, learning new skills, updating your skills, you know, studying, pretty much anything like that. I feel like will literally lead to more money. Now, this can also be the card of travel as well. So I feel like some of you could be traveling or you could be thinking about moving, probably just thinking about it during this retrograde or it could be on your mind uh, during this retrograde as well. Next, you have the uh, Ten of Clubs here and the Ace of Clubs, my two favorite cards in the deck right here, Pisces. This looks really good. Uh, this is a card of abundance. This is a card of more abundance entering into your life as well, this Ten of Clubs, but it is a card um, of needing to accept extra responsibilities. I do feel like if you want to make more money during this retrograde, you'll probably have to work harder for it, but I feel like it's worth it. So I feel like anything hard work-wise would be a good idea for you. It's another card of learning. It's a card of the teacher, so a lot of you could be learning as well. Like I said, there's a lot of learning stuff here. You have three tenths as well, so total new beginnings for you, Pisces, is what I would say. Uh, next, also this Ace of Clubs card of abundance. Both of these cards represent abundance, so there could be money coming in or more financial opportunity. This card does say if you have money, to hold on to it, you know, to make sure that it doesn't disappear as quickly as it came in. So it is kind of like a card of needing to hold on to your money so that it doesn't disappear, but overall, really good cards. Next, you have the King of Diamonds and the Ace of Diamonds. Look at this reading. Crazy. Uh, really good. Um, so the Ace of Diamonds is a new beginning. The King of Diamonds is your soulmate. So in some ways, I do feel like some of you could be meeting a soulmate or you could be with your soulmate. Uh, this, is, this is an earth sign, so it could be an earth sign that you will be with. But other than that, just very good for money and business ideas. So I would definitely say, Pisces, write down your business ideas this month, You know, especially with the retrograde. Just write them down. Don't forget any ideas that you have. They could lead to a lot more money. And for others, some of you, I feel like could be deciding to take a risk this month, and I do feel like it'll be worth it. So, you know, I feel like this could be a financial risk. Even though it is a retrograde, you know, maybe you're still going to do it anyway. I would just say, 
you know, double check everything that you're doing. Um, the Ace of Diamonds is also just a good card for moving, so I'd say if you're moving, I feel like things will go well. Uh, and finally, you have the three clubs and the two arts. Yeah, I feel like some of you could be having a second chance in love. So this could be an X coming back if you do want an X. Um, you could be getting a second chance here. Um, but for others, I feel like this could be that you just meet somebody that you feel like you can love, you know, that, that you have love for. So it's kind of, it's not like an X, but it could just be love returning to your life in general. So, um, yeah, Pisces looks amazing. Definitely very good for finances and three tenths killer. Really good. Um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff. Here, Pisces. I would just say focus on secret knowledge. I would say focus on learning during this whole retrograde, not even just this week. I feel like you need to focus on learning this whole time, but it looks really good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.